Hey friends, it is Sonia and we are going thrifting. I hope you guys are having a great day. I gotta tell you, being in here just made for a great day. This is a Goodwill that I've been at in the past and I swear every time I come back here, it always serves up the good stuff, like never fail. I can't help but wonder if it's just because it's closer to a bigger center. Definitely not all Goodwills are created equal. Just like you guys say in the comments a lot, you know, and the differences. Absolutely. I find here, even locally, just in the region, yeah, they're all different. But this one, so this one's actually in Ohio. It's on the other side of the Pennsylvania border. And maybe, like I said, because it's bigger, near a, like a center that has more of a population, um, there's just more stuff coming through the doors. So right at the beginning, you saw I've already got great stuff. And there's a bunch of owl stuff here as well, which even at the time of filming this right now, that yeah, some more owls just sold today. I think two sets of owls in the last 24 hours have sold. Owls go over really, really well in my store. And the other thing I got was this like, what is that? Like a little vase, it could be a little planter. Matt actually thought that was pretty cool too. So yeah, so I grabbed all that stuff. I like the prices, easy to flip. So I'm looking here at the bottom. These are Home Co, which is another collectible, um, line of owls and yeah i'm going back and forth trying to decide is that for one is that for two on the price tag and i decide i am taking them both because i love them some people i talk to like owls some people don't like owls um you know maybe it's a whole bird thing i'm okay with the birds and the owls you tell me in the comments below do they scare you this guy i will say looked possibly a little scary i was trying to debate whether or not i wanted to take him I, yeah, I was just kind of looking at him and I think somebody did a handmade paint job on him and um, I decided to leave him at this time. The cat was up there looking at him. So they make a fine pair, they'll just hang out together. I saw these um, gold style swans and yeah, I decided to take that one right there, the smaller one. I will tell you that sometimes when you find a bunch of things, like this one was 566, and the other one was what, was it 366, something like that? Sometimes, you know, you wanna take everything, and I exercised some self-control there, and I took only one, even though part of me is like, oh, it's a pair, I need them both. No, I can leave one on the shelf. So I took my bets on one today and um, you know, just kept a little extra in my budget to see what I would find ahead. And then, speaking of sets, I found this set of birds. 566 each, colorful, very whimsical looking. I could even add a little gold anywhere if I feel like they're chippy, but I feel like the chippy gives it character, so I'm okay with that. But they've got flowers, they've got that antique style look on their wings. I thought they were pretty cool. Do you see a little chipping right there? So what I do is when I get stuff like that back to my store, I either make the decision, will I sell them as is with the chipping? Does that add extra character? Or will I just grab my paints and maybe add a little gold paint on its uh, back tail feather? And that'll be it. Like today I was working on a pair of um, seahorses that I got thrifting. And I just added in some old silver onto the already old tarnished silver style um, candle holders that they were. And you would never know, it's perfect, it's amazing. This section right here, so of course I saw the star. I run a magical shop. I love all things whimsical and magical and fun. And, I, and it's gold. So yes, we're gonna take that gold star and we're gonna flip it. Today, one of my um, star baskets that I picked up thrifting sold here at the shop. So yeah, stars definitely sell. Now tomato, <laughs> I don't know how that fits in, but you know, I love a good tomato cheese sandwich. So that's kind of magical. I just felt it was glass. I should take it because anything that is paperweight oriented, yeah, stained glass looking, I'm going to take it. So I will take the tomato. That was just a cute little vase. I could see, you know, just whether you just put a little flower in there and you put on your shelf. I don't know. I took it. It was what, a buck or so. Okay, so this guy here, ah, uh, yes, as I run my hands over this stitched mouse, which again has a magical flair. I love, love, love this. Like it feels like it's been stitched, it's been sewn. And so right now I'm thinking, hmm, should I take it? Should I 
sell it and ship it. I don't really want to ship it. It's seven sixty six. Then I started thinking, I could use this myself. Mm -hmm. With lots of cheese slices and almonds and all the things. I left it there. I didn't end up coming back for it, but I will tell you, um, I did love that mouse. It was just so cute. Would you have taken it home? You'll have to tell me. This guy had a fabric tail, which I thought was interesting. Now this is a yellow little like rest for your eggs. I thought that was so cute. I really like that. Again, something else I might need myself. Today, speaking of eggs, because I love eggs, I just had some um, dippy eggs over toast. Do you guys know what that means? Like what that style egg that is? I didn't know it until I moved here to Pennsylvania, but it's like where you break the yolk and it all runs out. Mm, I just love that over some toast. So some days, you know, that's just an easy lunch. This is a, like a fabric, silky, beaded box. I debated on this one. It was a little dusty on the top. So I knew I would have to do a little cleaning with it. It was just somewhere where it was stored dusty. Um, that was the only thing. But here at the shop, we sell crystals and just a lot of little trinkets and stuff. And sometimes, you know, when you buy things like that, you want to have a box to put it into. One of my recent boxes that I found thrifting with you guys, it was the, um, like the shell style one that had the, the red velvet interior. In, yeah, interior. I don't know if you guys were with me when I thrifted that one, but that one just sold yesterday. So even used boxes when you're out and about, um, people look for them to like put gifts into. I like this little crate. I thought, again, I could add some gold onto it, make it look kind of whimsical for $2.33. Even if I get it back to the store and I decided to turn it into um, something to merchandise with, like put something inside of it to sell, so, you know, and then when it's not winter, I will just turn that box around so nobody can see the snowflake. It'll be perfect. This is a wooden pumpkin bowl. I did like all the speckles over it. I love that dark antique pumpkin style. This guy, yes. I have been painting and selling things like this forever in a day. And look, there was a set. You know what I love to do with these, right? They're really nice and heavy and they can, um, well, they can hold the pillar style candles and also the tapered candles. The, that right there is like absolutely hands down. I will thrift and pick and flip it. I love this elephant and I was going to take him until I looked at the top of him and he probably had a fall and he was still 766. So I don't know if that fall happened after the fact. Although I did see some cobwebs in there, so that might have been like that for a while. I don't know. I just decided to move on because it was broken and it would need some repairs, and I don't have time for that. That is something that I've definitely gotten better at as being much more choosy over what I want to bring back because my time is money. I don't have a lot of time because I do have my hands in a lot of projects. And is it worth for me to buy something and tie up my money into it when I'm never gonna get a chance to get back to it and I'm just gonna look at it sitting in the corner because now I've gotta take the time to get the stuff to do a repair. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. Loved this little planter. It has that rusty bucket, antiqued flare to it. I love that it was pink too. So I got that. I had to take that in the cart. Somebody had definitely done a DIY uh, project on this little vase. I thought that was fun, kind of cute. Now this guy, I really like this little teapot. The colors drew me in. You know I love me some flowers, but it was missing its top. Now if I was shopping for myself, I would take that any day of the week for a great price and um, put some rocks in it, put some ground into it, put some succulents into it or a cactus into it. That would be a perfect planter. This guy here, it's watermelon, it's fun. It was $8.66, so for that price point, I decided to leave it. But great for somebody who wants to buy it for themselves. And look, there's even a matching chip and dip set. I mean, you could have them both. Let's take a moment to enjoy the beautiful beat it gold design on that tray. Those were cute too. They had the little holders on the end. I've never seen that before. Okay, so now let's go down the other side here. Of course, that just antique yellow, it was plastic. Sometimes I have to feel stuff because I can't tell if it's um, 
plastic or ceramic. This was gorgeous. Okay, if I could have a set of glasses and if I needed a set of glasses, this is what my set of glasses would look like. Gold with all that jazz and gorgeous ornate decoration around it. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. I wish there was a whole set there. Okay, where shall we start here? So I do see the hamsa. I love this dish. I've decided to take that because I know that will sell in my shop. I can flip that no problem. Love all the colors on it too. Look at it, it's like mint and blue together. It actually inspires me to paint something blue. I might have to paint some blue stuff tonight. This uh, was near it and I agree that it should come with me, three, three, three. And uh, yeah, I wonder who priced that, $3.33 just random numbers but that's the perfect little candle holder so we're gonna take that for a fire safe dish this elephant elephants sell really well today for example one of my elephant plates that I recently thrifted sold here in my shop I'm gonna take this one now I will tell you that when I got up to the very front um, the lady who checked me out she was very sweet very kind um, she told me that she was not able, yep, son, you take it 566, you know, you can put some gold on that and sell it, just pop it right in the cart, yep, don't even debate, let's just go ahead and do that. Now, back to the elephant. So, she told me that um, she was not able to price, that they had a specific pricer, so I said, no worries, just put it back. So, the elephant did not make it home with me because he didn't have a price. Some Goodwills I've been in um, have people at the front that can price for you. And then sometimes I go into places where they have specific jobs. And so I can appreciate that. I understand that. And you know, it is what it is, right? Those owls, it is what it is. Cute, Annabelle. This was a piece of pottery that caught my attention. Love all the pottery pieces. And then, uh, yeah, that's right. I read on here that it actually was a local locally made piece i do believe um, and we are in ohio so that one came from a ohio um, potter pretty cool these white like snowy owls loved them but they were broken this harlequin style piece of decoration was gorgeous 866 if the price point was lower i would have taken it and flipped it but you know, or if I needed it for myself, that would be gorgeous with some books on a shelf. Say hello to the turkey. Everybody say hey to the turkey. These here. I was very interested in these and I debated taking these home. I, in a minute, you'll see me put them back. I was like, what are they? Will they fall over? Will they break? Um, if I separate them, will it like get knocked over on my shelf? Will it potentially break before I get home because they were curved and they were ceramic and they had little tiny feet to stand on. So I'm like, is that a, like something that would fall over, knock over? I don't know if I really want it. So I moved on, found these for a buck 11 and you know, candle holders can't keep them. So we're going to grab these and we're going to put them in the cart. Just classic candle holders, a dollar 11. You can't go wrong. Let's just take them. Look at all this great stuff. Oh my gosh. I just love what I'm finding here today. This down here, I love the polka dots. It felt really, really whimsical, and I debated taking it. I knew I did not want to ship it, because, but it was a great price. And then I just, just was thinking about, you know, the shape, is it too modern, but it lends itself to kind of whimsical. So I just kind of kept walking on, and I never did come back for it, but I liked it. Now this back here, Yes, if candles could come decorated in any way, this would be my optimal uh, way to receive them. It looks like there's a silver band around it, but that's actually wax, like silver wax. It's part of the candle. It was already burnt, so I left it there. I like this too, but you can see, ooh, everything was just falling off of it. It was just chipping. It's just really, really fragile, and yeah, that wouldn't have even survived the if I touched it and stuff has fallen off of it, that will not survive the trip back home. This little guy here, he was unglazed. He's just kind of carved raw piece of pottery. So for the price point, it has some flowers, some little polka dots. I thought, you know what, I could flip that. Somebody would love to have that for a vase. So I took it. 
Here's more of these flowers. You'll find that I'm really drawn to flowers and I've been collecting ceramic, colorful flowers at the thrift store for a while now. This patina here, this green, like I love that look. Love the color in that. Just a simple little, um, you know, nothing special but a little candle holder there. I left that one. Didn't really do it for me today. There was so much, like this guy. I love that. Little hangy beads, 211. Yes, we're gonna take that, Sonia. Just put that in your cart right now. You know you want it. I think I was debating whether or not um, like I would paint this because if I put it in a little bit of gold, it would play off of all the little dangly bits there, the little beads. So I might paint it. You can see there's, there's some scratching on the base. So that will be a candidate of, you know, do we want to do that? This Harlequin design, I just love that. Oh my, that's really pretty. I might have to paint something. Paint some furniture in that design. This is, this is how I get inspired. I go out and about and then I see colors. I really like this wall pocket. pocket. I put my hand inside, I'm like, what is that? But it has that mossy um, stuff that you stick your fingers into, or you stick your, your uh, flowers into, but I stuck my fingers into it. This is a little tea light. So you put your candle, you put a little bit of fragrance oil on the top. I sell those in my store all the time. So I figured I put, could get that one, flip it and put it into my uh, Reloved Finds area. That's something that um, I'm working on is getting some signs to go around my area, my section in my store of all my secondhand stuff. And so it's gonna say Reloved Finds on it. And, uh, oh, I love this piece right here. It's like a leaf, a rolled up leaf. I had to take that. Let's take a moment for the brassy gold looking um, acorn here, because we do love him. That's a mighty fine acorn if I, if I can say. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot here today. You know, I'm watching this video back and I'm seeing stuff that my eyes did not even pick up on when I was there because there was so much, there was so much stuff. And the music was really loud here today in the store. So yeah, there was a lot going on and there's quite a few shoppers out too. Everybody decorating for, you know, the cozy season. I did love that little planter. He would need some touch-ups, but I, I mean, I love the sunflower on him. It kind of gave me an idea of if I want to do some painted flowers on terracotta pots, maybe over the winter. I tend to do a lot of painting over winter. These, which by the way, I'm seeing that teapot in the front right there. I swear at the time, I was not even like fixated on that teapot with the black uh, top. Today I am. I wish I would have taken that too. But this piece, these here, by the way, you'll see me, I actually picked up a couple of these right here. I hit on them all in a row. And they're these big glass candle holders. And they had a little bit of, two of them had on burnt candle wax inside. That one had a burnt candle, a bit of candle wax inside of it, but it popped right out, honestly. Came out completely clean. So I'm excited to set up my, um, little area today with all these finds and those are gonna be gorgeous. When you have some tall stuff, when you're like putting together and you're merchandising and you're putting together all your eclectic thrift things, when you have some tall pieces or if you set out some crates and you know, think of it like a cake topper, that's how I think of it. These guys here are just gorgeous. They're just tall and will will definitely catch the eye. So they're done in this mercury glass style. I love it. Things in this style sell um, pretty quick for me at the shop. Here I am trying to find a place to secure it because let me tell you, I had to wrap these really, really well to get them home because like I said, I am a couple hours away from my shop here. So they had to make it through the store, through the checkout, get back in the van and then make it here. But I'm proud to say that they did make it. And do you see, they're not even burnt. They're not even burnt. Now I looked at this coming in and Matt just came in to join me and he's like, hey, look at this. I'm like, yeah, you like it? I think we should get it. He agreed very quickly. And I very quickly stuck it at the bottom of the cart. Do you see how fast that was? I didn't even question. If Matt says he likes it and I like it, let's get it. This is a little moon holder. Like what would you hang off of here? You could hang a crystal. I don't know, hang your bananas off of it. I just knew it was a moon. 
It's got a dangly piece on it, your favorite necklace. One of my star baskets just sold today. I'm so glad I got a replacement for $3.11. And then these two here were down on the bottom shelf. Owls. Again, at the beginning, I told you I love owls. $4.33. I'm debating. Can I take them back? Can I flip them? I feel like I could. And plus, I really think that making these part of my display would make it very whimsical. Owls are very, you know, very, yeah, magical. So I just thought, you know, I could make a display around these two owls. And then um, when they sell, they sell. So I'm definitely taking these home with me today. And I love them. Or I could put them on a wall. Maybe I could find a little wall to put them on. So got a giant low today. Love it all.